Hi, it's Annalise and Neil, and today we're going to talk about audio mixers. All right, so as a lot of you know, we have a podcast and we use a mixer for the podcast. And we did a video of all our podcast equipment. <laughs> we'll link it below. No, we'll have it right there. <laughs> <laughs> One of the things we do is travel, and we still like to record the podcast while we're out, but we always use like, you know, we don't have a mixer that we take right. with us. So we thought, because we're doing our NASCAR thing, uh, we didn't want to take apart our whole mixer to move it, our big mixer to move into the right. living room, and we wanted one that we could travel with. Right. So we bought the Behringer Xenix Q1002 USB <laughs> mixer. Now the funny thing is I wanted to get a small one that would be really portable. I was going to say, easy. this is bigger than I thought it was going to be. This is not nearly as small as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> So we're going to go ahead and unbox it and show it to you and then we'll, when we do set it up, we'll splice that in and then we'll give you a review on it. I just keep thinking, this is bigger than I thought it was going to yeah, be. Yeah, <laughs> this is, yeah. I've never heard that before, unfortunately. This is the only time. <laughs> so let me tell you a little bit about it. It is a USB mixer. I'm going to read from the cheat sheet and we'll have a link for this below too. You can get it on Amazon. It's uh, under hundred bucks. Uh, ultra compact, low noise, high headroom analog mixer. Uh, two Xenix preamps comparable to standalone preamps. 48 phantom power, which is really nice. You can use condenser microphones, which is what we have. Compression feature, which is kind of nice. Built in uh, stereo USB audio interface connect directly to your computer which is mm -hmm. great for podcasting. <laughs> Neo Classic British three band EQs for warm and musical sound. One post fader FX uh, send per channel for external effects. FX2 control room lets you monitor effects via headphones and control room out. Main mix outputs, two track inputs, free software, high quality components. Uh, and some of the tech specs here real quick, which is totally boring. <laughs> uh, analog, 10 channel, faders, mic preamps, two XLRs which will show uh, phantom power for two inputs uh, has RCA uh, TRS headphone is quarter inch auxiliary sends two bus and again USP and USP USB and the three band EQ so let's just open it so yeah. that's that's it let's get into it <laughs> again much bigger than I thought it would be <laughs> so in the box comes power supply which that is about as big as I wanted the mixer to be <laughs> and about as heavy. This thing weighs a ton. Overkill. Yeah. USB cable that will plug into the mixer and then into your computer. Piece of cardboard. Instructions, stickers, and how to get your free uh, software. More cardboard. Oh, you know what? Pleasantly surprised. Oh. <laughs> It there is, it is good. That is about the size I expected. So the box is just really big. So that the makes packaging me happy. is big. The unit is small. What? <laughs> so comes in plastic. Oh, it's adorable. <laughs> that is really honestly about the size I expected. This it to is be. yeah. This is. Oh boy. I mean, like if you take a look at this uh, power supply in comparison, the power supply is almost half as big. <laughs> <laughs> so there it is, lightweight, that's where the USB go, oh Jesus, that's where the USB, Jesus doesn't go in there, the USB does, your power supply, your two XLRs here, obviously your controllers, your fader, your phantom power, all the EQs, high, mid, low, your FX, pan left and right, volume, low pass filter, yeah, pretty exciting. Behringer make good products. So we'll see. We'll see how noisy this is. I, I've been reading about it, and it's not too. No from what it, the review says, it's not mm -hmm. too noisy. A lot of people use these individually in bands uh, on stage for mm -hmm. in-ear monitors, so everybody can have their own control of their in-ear monitor, which I thought that's, was kind of cool. That's pretty cool. Uh, kind of like a headphone amp, and if I mean, if you have the money and you can do that for your band, that's cool. But yeah. for us, it'll be podcast. So right. there you go. I like that it's small. Yeah. All right. Can you say something? Um, are we going to give an update? Are we going to show it plugged in? Are yeah, yeah. Not now. Okay. But yeah. I just meant, are you going to say that? Like, yeah. Okay, let's go plug it in right. or something like that. Okay. Ready? Uh -huh. All right. We're going to go set it up. Well, not right now. We're actually going to set it up when we do the test for NASCAR Daytona live viewing party. But for you, it'll be right now. Right. We'll be back. <laughs> We're back with the follow-up on the board of the video you just saw. I don't know why I'm 
announcing that we're back, but we are back. <laughs> so it's been working amazing. We've used it a few times. I did some tests and it is an awesome little board that sounds great. We used it with the OBS program. For those of you who know what OBS is, when we were broadcasting live on YouTube during the Daytona 500 and plugged our mics into it and it worked great. I did some other tests with some different mics. When we did the broadcast for Daytona, we used our AT2020 Audio-Technica mics, sounded awesome. And then I wanted to do a test with a couple other mics, so I tried a Shure SM58 and also tried my Sennheiser E935. And they all sound amazing. The um, compression on here is really good, it's kind of nice. So the tests I did with these mics were not only with OBS and with YouTube, but also on GarageBand just to play with the sound to see what it was like. And it's amazing. It's a great little board. I'm really glad we got it. If you're looking for something uh, for your podcast or just to record with or to make your YouTube quality sound better when you're going live, I mean, for, I think it was a hundred bucks. There's a link below. Totally worth it. It works great. I mean, it's got two, well, we already went through all of that, but yeah, <laughs> it's very cool. Looking forward to taking it on vacation and seeing what it does. So it doesn't come with its own travel case. Since we're gonna use this board a lot for traveling and vacations and live events and things like that, that um, we have to come up with a way to travel with it. And we'll probably just um, use like a little case with some foam and all of that. So that's just something to consider if you're actually gonna take it on the go with you. I'll also have links below to the microphones that I tested out if you wanna check those out. Thanks so much everybody. If you have any questions, by all means, please uh, comment or just email us at halosandheathens at gmail.com. Bye.